Donkey Kong Country just came to the SNES Virtual Console about a week ago, and to celebrate, I'm wearing this red tie, just like Donkey Kong. Now this can be a very hard game to beat, but don't let that scare you away, because you can actually skip most of the hardest levels. And in this video, I'm going to show you all my favorite shortcuts to turn you into a Donkey Kong God. So this first shortcut, it actually happens right in the second level. Right after you collect that golden O, you're going to want to jump down through the crack in the trees and you're going to land in a barrel, which will shoot you right into the wall. But that won't kill you. Once you're in this bonus area, you can play it through collecting all the bananas, but you can also just jump into the pit. You won't die. You'll end up blasting out the other side of this shortcut, pretty much skipping the entire level. This next shortcut is actually in the fifth level of the first world. Once you start the level, you're going to want to jump back onto the cliff that you just came out of. You're going to hit the barrel, you're going to go blasting forward. There's going to be a bunch more barrels and you're going to land on a tree with a DK barrel. From there, you're going to want to move forward till you see three little crocs in a trench. Jump on one of their heads once they're in midair. You'll jump on a tree, continue through the trees until you get to the next set of barrels. From here, you're going to want to walk forward a little bit in the level and then eventually you're going to get to this blast barrel on a little ridge with two crocs jumping on either side of it. You want to try and kill the one on the right so you can get a nice position on this ledge. Once the one on the left is in midair, jump on his head to jump on a tree and you'll take the rest of the blast barrels to the end of the level. Easy peasy. Now this next shortcut is in the second level of the second world. This level in particular gives a lot of people problems. I've seen this level complained about the most online. People hate the minecart level. People despise the minecart level. People get stuck on this level and this is where they typically rage quit the game. This is one of the easiest levels you'll ever play in the game. Right off the bat, before you jump in that barrel that blasts you into the minecart, you're going to want to carefully approach the ledge that the barrel's on and then jump over it and hug the wall to the left and you'll be blasted in through a barrel that skips the entire level. You're only going to have to avoid one little croc at the end, but if you have both Diddy and Donkey Kong, it's pretty much foolproof. You can't lose. You finish this level. Don't worry about it. Put it in your pass. Go back. Practice it another day. You're done. The next shortcut is in the fourth level of World 2. All you need to do for this level is right when you start the level, go backwards through the entrance, you teleport right to the end, you jump over a few of those crocs, hit two barrels, and you're done. This next shortcut is in the first snow level of World 4. Once you pass the rhino statue between the two bees, you're going to want to jump into the blast barrels. You're going to go two over it until you get to the third one, which is a slightly lower one than the first two. And you want to aim it directly down and shoot yourself into all the blast barrels. This shortcut completely skips the end barrel maze and gets you right to the exit and easy victory. This final shortcut I want to share with you and after this shortcut I'll give you a sexy tip that will also help you complete the game. This shortcut isn't like the previous shortcuts where it's like an automated barrel blast to the end or a teleport to the end. But this one does actually help the level quite a bit. What you're going to want to do is when you start the level just jump completely backwards. From here you're going to find an ostrich and what this ostrich is going to do for you is allow you to basically just fly through the entire level and avoid all the enemies and it makes the level super easy and super fun. So that's it for the shortcuts but I do have one really awesome tip which I guess is kind of a cheat but it's not like a cheat code but it's a glitch in the game. So what you're going to want to do in the fifth level I believe it is of the second world, the, the Aztec world, you're going to want to start the level and then once the crusher is coming at you, you jump to the left of the level onto the ledge. So once crusher comes into the pit, you're going to want to time it perfectly so you land on his head. You slide forward down the ledge and as you're sliding forward, hold backwards and hold A. And you're going to constantly go through this jumping loop on his head, which is like Super Mario. Once you jump on an enemy so many times, you start getting bonus lives. You can keep doing this until you rack up 99 plus lives. It keeps counting even though it only shows 99. There are other shortcuts in the game. None of them are really as big as the ones I've showed you. I mean, let me know if I forgot one, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. But with the extra lives cheat and the six shortcuts I gave you, you should now be a Donkey Kong God. And if you're not, well, practice makes perfect. And now you can play it on the pooper. So that helps too. If you like this video, please give that like button and the subscribe button the old banana slammer.
And until next time, keep on questing.